What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're going to talk about a pretty important subject and that's rejection. So I see a lot of my clients, a lot of my students and viewers of this channel, when they get rejected by a girl, a lot of times it takes them out of the game. They're not able to process it correctly and because of that they don't succeed with women and they could be succeeding with women a lot better if they processed it in a different way. The way a high value, high status kind of guy thinks of himself, the way he processes it, okay? So what is a high value guy? Well, a high value guy is someone who values himself, who knows his worth. So basically in this video, I'm gonna show you how to process rejection correctly. I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples of ways guys do it incorrectly, and then I'm gonna show you the better way of processing this rejection. So let's get right into this video. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about when it comes to rejection, and this is something that I see a lot of guys doing, is they reject themselves even before they talk to the girl. For example, I have a client who, you know, we recommended that he go to a lot of group activities during the week, so he's doing that and he's doing great. However, when he goes into these activities, sometimes if the mood isn't right, sometimes if the people aren't talking to him right away, he assumes that they don't want to talk to him. He assumes that they think he's a creep. He assumes that they don't like him. Now, what kind of evidence would there be to suggest that they don't like him? Well, not much other than the fact that they're not really paying attention to him as much as they used to. And so in these situations, he's preventing himself from even taking action before anything has really happened. And I see a lot of guys doing this. So if you can think in your life, when you've had certain social situations where people are just, you know, they're not talking to you at that moment, and then you assume that it's because uh, they don't like you or because they think you're a creep, most of the time, this is all in your head. Usually people aren't thinking that. You know, I used to think this too when I was going into different environments where I didn't know the people too well. You know, I travel a lot. And sometimes when you're at a hostel or when you're at, uh, well, I'm, I don't really go to hostels anymore, but uh, when I'm in different environments, like I'm learning something new, um, for instance, at my jujitsu jiu gym. If I go to a jujitsu gym and people don't act the same way they do at another gym, I sometimes they assume they don't like me, but almost never is that the case. It's just because I'm a new guy and they don't know me that well yet. So after they get to know me, after they talk to me a little bit, then I find out that they're actually really cool guys. They really enjoy my presence and there was nothing happening there before. You know, a lot of times people tend to assume that other people are standoffish or they don't want to talk them when in reality they just don't know them that well they're shy or maybe they were occupied with something else so if you think about that in your life always assume the positive because that's gonna be the trend here assuming the positive is what a high-value guy does he assumes that he's a worthwhile person to talk to and that if something doesn't work out it's due to situations and not necessarily due to himself I'll give you another example so if you walk into a bar let's say uh, I don't know uh, and there's a cute girl ordering a drink or something like that. You walk up to her and you say, hey, what's up, my name's Lloyd, nice to meet you. And she says, uh, uh, nice to meet you, hey, and then just turns away to her friend and starts talking to her, okay? Now, some guys would interpret that as she rejected you. She doesn't wanna talk to you. She doesn't like you. And they're probably wrong because what happened right there was that she talked to me for literally half a second shook my hand, and then turned back to her friend. Now, how much of that could she learn about me? How much from that does she know who I am? How much can she really reject me, per se? The only thing that she can really reject are my looks. So she, there's a possibility that she might hate my face. <laughs> That's a possibility. But for me knowing people, unless you have some horrible disfigurement or something like that, or you know, you're know, you really, uh, maybe people think you, you look unfriendly or something like that, they're probably not thinking that, okay? What probably happened is that she was talking to a friend about something, something really important, and this random guy interrupted her thought process and she just wanted to get back talking to her friend. There was no rejection there. Now, the guy who interprets it as, oh, this girl doesn't like me, this girl hates me, I suck, how likely is he going to be to approach another girl after that? Probably not very likely, okay? He's gonna be thinking about the whole thing, he's gonna be thinking about himself, he's gonna be getting down in the dumps, but the high value guy who values himself and knows his worth and knows that people, people deserve to talk to him and he's an important person, he's gonna interpret that as, hey, maybe this person's having a bad day or maybe she just wanted to talk to somebody else, okay? Or maybe she was having a conversation that interrupted her. Nine times out of 10, that's probably what's going on, you guys, okay? 
And so if you take it personally, if you get down in the dumps over these sorts of things, then you're probably not gonna be successful because you know when you're going out as a guy, like you're gonna get girls that don't wanna talk to you. And that's fine, that's totally okay, it's part of the game. It happens to me too. I still get girls that don't wanna talk to me. But when they don't wanna talk to me, I don't think, oh, I suck. Like, you know, Lloyd, like, you really messed that one up, blah, blah, blah. Now, sometimes I mess up, and that's, that's fine too. But in these situations, I laugh. I think, I guess she didn't want to talk right now. And then I go off and I talk to another girl. I still keep that positive mindset because that next girl might want to talk to me. And if I come in with a negative frame, if I come in with this, uh, I suck, I'm, I'm, I'm shitty type mindset, she's not going to see the best side of me. And I'm probably going to blow that opportunity. Okay. Now, the truth is, is that when you're going out and when you're talking to people, like most guys will talk to a bunch of girls that don't want to talk to him. He's going to have to make a couple rounds. He's going to have to put himself out there to a variety of different people. Now, successful people, people who are successful not just in dating but in life in general, they know that when things don't work out, it's not always their fault. Now they process it and they feel like, hey, what could I have done better there? And that's always a very important thing to do, but they don't dwell on their mistakes. So if you've been, if you think you've been rejected, think about it. Are my, am I really taking into account all of the possibilities? Am I really taking into account what could be going on? If you've been talking to a person for two seconds, they probably don't know you. It's probably incorrect for you to assume that they're rejecting you. It's more the situation. And I've had it so many times, you guys, where a girl has turned me down. Even a girl that I've been texting for long periods of time that I wasn't able to get on a date, or maybe I messed up the third date or something like that, or maybe we were together for a little bit and I messed that up. I've I've had so many situations where the girl has eventually come back to me, where I've won her over in the end. This has happened to me so many times that I know for a fact that it is almost never over. <laughs> okay? That's the mentality that you kind of got to have. And it's, look, it's a cheeky thing to think because, look, if somebody's married, okay, maybe they'll be with them forever, but with the divorce rates in this country, you know, who knows? But if you think about it like that, then you're going to be much more likely to go out there again and not beat yourself up too much, okay? The guys that do well, that are my students, are the people that understand this. Young guys especially, or guys that have that come in there with a lot of negative mindsets that I have to unravel, the biggest impediment to their progress is themselves, their interpretation of reactions. So if you find yourself interpreting things as negative all the time, you're probably not that bad. It's probably your negative mindsets that are holding you back. And so if you wanna change that, rewire your brain, take into account some of the examples that I've given you in this video, and you're gonna be a lot more successful. Okay guys, hopefully this helps. If you may take and consider subscribing. If you wanna get coached by me in person, check out my live training schedule down below. If there's a city in, in the United States that I'll be coming to January, February, March, sign up for it, dude. I'm looking for guys that are ready, that are motivated, that are gonna get out there and take action. So hopefully that's you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.